June 10th, 1190, during the Third Crusade, Holy Roman Emperor Frederick I Barbarossa, who reigned from 1155 to 1190, drowned in the river Salaf while leading an army to Jerusalem. <laughs> Frederick I Barbarossa, known as Redbeard, is generally considered one of medieval Europe's greatest emperors. He had a long reign as not only Holy Roman Emperor, but also as King of Italy, King of Germany, which at the time also meant King of the Romans, and King of Burgundy, ruling some of these realms from 1152 until his death in 1190, or nearly 40 years. He accomplished much while emperor of a large portion of Central Europe, including conducting six military campaigns in Italy. Although a charismatic leader, he did not always prevail in his many ventures. In 1176, at the Battle of Legnano, he suffered his most infamous defeat at the hands of the Lombard League in Italy. In 1189, over a decade after his disastrous campaign in Italy, he joined forces with two of the other most renowned leaders of his age, King Philip Augustus of France and King Richard the Lionheart of England. The three monarchs planned to lead the Third Crusade with the objective of reconquering Jerusalem from Saladin's Muslims, who had themselves recaptured the city from Christians just a couple years earlier in 1187. Frederick allegedly assembled an army numbering as many as 100,000, although such numbers may be an exaggeration. Nevertheless, the expedition was a considerable undertaking by Western Europe's three most powerful sovereigns. Unfortunately, before Frederick could even make it to the Holy Land, he drowned in a river in what is today Turkey. His death was an absolute disaster for the Crusaders. The now leaderless Germans previously under Frederick's command panicked with unknown numbers deserting and in some cases even committing suicide. Moreover, with Philip and Richard bitter rivals, Frederick's death prevented him from being able to mediate disputes between the English and French kings. What followed as the remnant of the Third Crusade was largely King Richard's Crusade, which had mixed success, ultimately failing in the main objective of a Christian reconquest of Jerusalem. We are left to wonder what might have happened had Frederick survived a few years longer. Some have apparently also actually questioned whether Frederick did in fact die. Frederick is the subject of various rather bizarre legends, with one legend suggesting that he is not dead, but asleep with his knights in a cave in the Kiefhauser Mountains in Thuringia, or Mount Untersberg in Bavaria, Germany, and that when the ravens cease to fly around the mountain, he will awake and restore Germany to its ancient greatness. As far as we are aware, he is not yet awoken. If you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines and become one of our patrons. Your viewership is much appreciated. As a question for my students and subscribers, if Frederick had not drowned in the river or gone to an indefinite sleep, would the Third Crusade have met greater success, perhaps even taking Jerusalem back from Saladin? Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section below this video.